All right, 2.8 gives us a little bit of a break from the last one. This one's quite a bit easier. Uh, so it shows us this diagram here. Basically, some particles are coming into this detector in the in direction. And um, then whatever comes, whatever reads as up spin is put into a Y detector. And we're asked to find the probabilities of up and down from, the, from this Y direction when it started off in the up state in the in direction. Uh, so because it starts off in the up state in the in direction, we'll start with this ket right here, which from the last problem we solved to be that. And they also give us the angles for theta and phi. So uh, we can go ahead and complete our ket right here. So plus in the n is going to be equal to uh, cosine. Uh, theta is pi over 4. I mean, pi over 4 over 2. So it's going to be pi over 8. Up. Plus e to the e, I mean e to the i phi is phi pi over 3. Um, and sine theta again is pi over 4 over 2, so that would be pi over 8 down. All right, uh, so then as a reminder, our, um, our y up ket is going to be uh, 1 over root 2 up uh, plus i, uh, let's do i over root 2 down, which means the bra is going to be 1 over root 2 up, and then have to complex conjugate this i, so minus i over root 2 bra down. All right, so we want to find the probability of it ending up up in y when it started up in n. Okay, so that's going to be our bra for y. So that's here, 1 over root 2 up minus i over root 2 uh, bra down times our state right here. That's cosine pi over 8 up plus e to the i, 5 pi over 3, sine pi over 8 down. All right, so we get our plus and our plus. So we're going to have a uh, 1 over root 2 cosine pi over 8, and then minus i over root 2 uh, e to the i 5 pi over 3 sine pi over 8. All right, and that's going to be squared. We'll go ahead and square that. That's going to be times 1 over root 2 cosine pi over 8. And so there, there's an i right here, so we'll do plus i over root 2 e to the negative i 5 pi over 3, sine pi over 8. All right, so let's see what we got. Um, so we have 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, so that's going to be 1 half. Now it looks like cosine squared, pi over 8. Uh, then we'll have uh, 1 over root 2 and i over root 2, so that's going to be plus... Uh, i over 2. Um, how do we want to write this here? Um, cosine pi over 8. Uh, actually, let's pull this e out to the front. e to the negative i 5 pi over 3. I think it's going to get canceled out anyways, uh, but we'll keep on going. Uh, cosine pi over 8 sine pi over 8. I think that's all the terms there. Um, okay, then we have minus 1 uh, i over 2. We have e to the positive, so that's not going to cancel out. Um, e to the positive i 5 pi over 3. Uh, and we'll do, oh, it's sine, yeah, sine cosine. So all right, cosine first, cosine pi over 8, 
sine pi over eight. All right, and then our last terms, we have, we're gonna have a um, plus, and, uh, plus and a minus, so that's gonna be negative, but we have an i squared, so it's gonna be, it's gonna cancel out and be positive, one half. Now that cancels out. We're gonna have e to the i stuff times e to the negative i stuff, so that's gonna be e to the zero, so that'll be one. Um, and then we'll be left with sine squared pi over eight. Okay, so um, let's see what we can do here. Um, we do have a cosine squared sine squared, so that's going to be one. Um, but we'll have to pull out the one half. Um, so let's go. Just go. Let's rearrange this first. So let's do uh, one half. Cosine squared pi over eight um, plus sine squared pi over eight. All right, and then we have an i over two plus i over two, um, and this two we can pull out. Um, cosine pi over eight, sine pi over eight. Uh, and that's going to be e to the negative i5 pi over 3 minus e to the positive i5 pi over 3. All right, uh, I think that's everything covered, right? Um, got those terms, got these terms, should be good. All right, so this is going to become 1, so that's 1. Um, so then we'll have... Uh, that's just going to be one half here, um, plus i over. We're going to get rid of this i. Uh, i over two, cosine pi over eight, sine pi over eight. All right. Then in here we can replace this with the Euler's formula. So this is going to be uh, cosine pi pi over three. Uh, minus i sine uh, pi over 3, uh, pi pi over 3. All right, and then this one's going to be uh, minus uh, cosine pi pi over 3 plus sine pi pi over 3. All right. Um, so then let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign here. It's going to be negative there, negative there. All right, so that is going to be, this should be I sign. Okay. Um, uh, let's go ahead and clear some room somewhere. I think we're going to have some stuff cancel out here. All right, so let's bring this up top. So we have uh, one half plus. Um, we combine. Yeah, we can combine some things here. Yeah, let me just rewrite it first with things combined. I over two cosine pi over eight sine pi over eight. And here we have. Okay, so these cancel out. That's good. And then we'll have two of these. So it's be negative. I uh, negative two i uh, sine five pi over three. All right, so then we can distribute that here. Um, so we'll have one half. Uh, we're going to have a two times a half, so that's going to make one. We have an i times an uh, an i. We have a negative here also. I times i is going to flip the sign, so we'll have a plus. Um, so that cancels out. So the half cancels out. The i's cancel out, um, and then we'll be left with uh, cosine pi over eight, sine pi over eight, uh, sine five pi over three. Okay. And um, okay, I erased it already, but we're squaring all. Or, or, this has already been squared, but this is going to. Uh, what am I? What am I saying right now? Yeah, that's already been squared. Um,
My answer doesn't really match the solution manual here. Uh, yeah, it does. Why? That's I don't know why it's written like that, but it's the same thing. Um, they had it written one half uh, one plus two cosine yada yada yada. Um, I don't know why that half is pulled out, but uh, yeah, this is the same thing. So, anyways, if you plug this into your calculator, you're going to get approximately zero point one nine four. So the probability that we're going to get up in the y is going to be, I don't know why I wrote it like that, uh, up in the y is going to be uh, around 0 0.194. Okay, so that's for up, and then we need to do down. Uh, and so we're doing down in the y along with up in the n. We're going to be squaring that. All right, so down in y was uh, 1 over root 2 up minus i over root 2 down. Um, so the bra is going to be 1 over root 2 up plus i over root 2 down. All right, so we rewrite that right here. So we have 1 over root 2 up. Uh, plus i over root 2 down times our state here, which is cosine pi over 8 up plus e to the i 5 pi over 3 sine pi over 8 down. All right, uh, so pretty much the same thing, except we're going to have a sine flip. Um, let me get rid of this here. All right, so we have uh, 1 over root 2 cosine pi over 8 there. We have a um, plus i over root 2 um, e to the i 5 pi over 3 sine pi over 8. Uh, and this will be squared. Um, so will be 1 over root 2 cosine pi over 8 minus i over root 2 e to the negative i5 pi over 3 sine pi over 8. All right, and multiply this out. Save all the room I can here. All right, so we have 1 half cosine squared pi over 8. There's a minus um, I over 2 uh, cosine pi over 8, sine pi over 8, uh, missed an E here, let's just rewrite that, E to the negative I 5 pi over 3 uh, cosine pi over 8, sine pi over 8, uh, and then a plus uh, i over 2 e to the positive i 5 pi over 3 cos uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. yeah cosine pi over 8 um, sine pi over 8 and then uh, here we have a plus and a minus that's going to make a negative but then we have i squared it's going to flip it back to positive again one half the e's will cancel out just like before, and we'll have a sine squared pi over 8. So very similar to before. We have sine squared and cosine squared. So that's going to leave us with uh, 1 half. Um, and then we'll have, uh, we'll factor out, we'll factor out a negative um, i over 2 and cosine pi over 8 sine pi over 8, and be left with uh, e to the negative i5 pi over 3 um, minus, we factored out a negative, so this one will now turn negative, um, uh, the, the e to the positive i5 pi over 3. All right, and then so this is going to turn into uh, cosine 5 pi over 3 minus i 
sine 5 pi over 3 uh, minus um, cosine 5 pi over 3 uh, plus, because it's a positive i, plus i sine 5 pi over 3. Uh, I'll go ahead and distribute that uh, negative sign, so negative there, negative here. Uh, and then we cancel out this cosine and left with, again, negative um, 2i sine. I'll rewrite that right here. So 1 half minus um, uh, so yeah, so this negative 2i uh, is going to be multiplied with this. So we're going to have a sine flip. Um, well, there's a negative and a negative, though. So we're going to have a plus this time. Um, let me write this out. I don't want to mess this up. Um, uh, so we'll have i over 2 cosine pi over 8 sine pi over 8. Uh, and then we'll have a negative 2i sine 5 pi over 3. All right. Um, so, yeah, so I was just saying we're going to have, we're going to pull out the 2, it's going to cancel out the half. Uh, we'll pull out the negative, that's going to make a positive. Okay, and then the 2i's make it negative again. Um, so it'll be uh, 1 half minus uh, cosine pi over 8, sine pi over 8, um, and sine 5 pi over 3 this right here, um, and you put that into your calculator, and then minus in the y direction should be around 0 0.806. So um, with the trig functions, we it wasn't as easy as just our basic uh, directions, but this one, we didn't need any, any uh, trig identities this time. So easier than the last question. So hope it wasn't that bad.